like there's that new chat GPT or whatever that came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've gotten like some people have sent me stuff like, hey man, look at this comedy set of yours we that we had chat GPT do, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this is trash. Like this yeah, is it like sucks. it just sounds like you put anybody if you say like from Louisiana or from a southern state, it just sounded it felt yeah. really cheap to me. Yeah. So I wonder how like advanced they can get that, you know? Yeah, I mean, it it's true. They I do think, and maybe it's just us thinking like, oh, come on, you can't the one thing you can't figure out is comedy. But what they do with all the AI, the the art stuff is they just steal from artists. Right. So like uh That's a good point. So they will what they'll do is just steal jokes and like just put it in another person. Mm. Like I even saw like uh Will Sasso did something really funny. He has like a he has like an AI, like dudesy his podcast is run by an AI, and he did like a Tom Brady Tom Brady, because you know Tom Brady said he was well, going to do. He just sent me that. Yeah, he sent he sent it to me too, and I looked at it, and I was like, "This is going to be fucking stupid." And it was like, it was like they didn't have the pausing of stand up comedy, right? But they were real jokes, right? And but then you hear that, and you're like, "I've I've heard these before," right? And it's like clearly what the AI did was steal, maybe even shitty comedians. Probably what they did was go to YouTube or wherever. And stole, like, fucking open mic level comics or, like, mid-tier comics or, like, you know, starting out comics and just stole the rhythm and shit of jokes and put it in there. Some of the jokes were legitimately funny. They might have stolen stuff from, you know. Anybody. So I think that's what, that's what, that's why the shit is so unethical. It's like, not only is it, are they, you know, learning shit that's scary that computers can do, but they're just stealing art from people like just stealing techniques from people and it's just like an amalgam of shit from people that from real people that worked very hard to do it right but they're gonna be probably <clears throat> jokes that are very like pattern based i feel like so you can have like a lot of writers yeah. like joke writer style sure. i think a you a performer may be able to yeah then even rise up like mm-hmm. still have some uniquity to them i'm not sure yeah. But you're going to have to have a powerful level of no, uniquity if somebody can yeah, just... Yeah, I love uniquity. That's but if awesome. somebody... Yeah, and that's not a racial <laughs> slur either. It's not a racial slur. It's not a girl that works at the post office. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's neither of those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, was uniquity the girl that tried to fuck you at Magoobies? Uh, <laughs> was there uniquity and her no, husband no. Kyle? <laughs> oh, man, dude. dude. actually, now that you say it, you're right. Like, per- there's something to performance... But it's even funny because it's like, well, if we're talking about a robot that learns jokes, it's like, is Mark Norman the first comedy AI? Yeah. <laughs> like, is Mark the first? Like, that literally, like, I feel like that's what that motherfucker is. He's so oh. good at, he just feed a joke in and it's like, bam, bam, everything yeah. is just like. He's incredible. Yeah, yeah.